Hey, what's going on guys? Today I want to show you how you can create a corporate slideshow animation in DaVinci Resolve. So let's take a look at this example. Yeah, so this is what we'll be creating in today's video. So let's get started. First of all, go to settings and change your timeline frame rate. I'm going to set this to 30. I've already done that. So I'm going to click on cancel. Let's create a new fusion composition. Uh, you can rename it to whatever you want. Duration is five seconds. Uh, click on create. Let's drag and drop it onto the timeline. All right. So let's go to the fusion page and start creating our animation. I'm going to move my media out to the right side. Uh, let's start by dragging and dropping a background node. So this node will be uh, the main node that will determine the composition setting size. So for all the resolution. So if I just drag this onto the viewer here, so you can see the background node is set to 1920 by 1080, which is what we want. Uh, let's go to the media pool and just drag and drop in our image like that. Let's exit out of this. So if I connect this media in with the background, this will result in a merge node. And if I view this merge node, you can see the size is still 1920 by 1080. If it's not that, then you just have to invert uh, the uh, foreground with the background. So you can just select your merge node, hit Control T on the keyboard to do that. And we'll change it to some other value. Just make sure it's 1920 by 1080. After that, if the image is too big and if you want to resize it, you can select media in node, shift spacebar and type in transform and click on add to add a transform node to it. And then you can use the size controller over here to resize your image. So for this example, the image is perfect, so I don't have to do anything. But what I want to do is create a simple scale animation. So let's go to the very first frame, create a keyframe on size go to the very end and set the size to 1.2 right so we'll have this basic going on uh, this basic animation um, after that i want to create some three shapes and uh, for that i'll need three background nodes so i'm going to start with the very first one let's drag in the background node to view this you can just drag this like that and let's add a rectangle mask to this i'm going to increase the height to 1 and width to 0.2 I have already done this before so i know the values i have to use and for the center x i'm going to move it to the right so i'm going to set this to 0 0.9 okay so let's just copy these two nodes Control c and Control v to paste it let's keep it over here and let's select the rectangle the second rectangle node and set the center x to 0 0.7 copy and paste this one more time and the third rectangle set this to 0 0.5 all right, so if you want to take a look at these three shapes at once, you can just connect these two up together and just connect it with this background. Look at this merge three and just change the color to so that we can differentiate it. So these are the three different shapes we have. And this is what we, what we have done so far. So I'm going to get rid of these two merge nodes. This was just to show you what we have done with the rectangle mask here. So I'm going to delete that. And let's connect this merge with our background two. And this merge two with our background two dash one, merge three with the last background node over here. So now we need to animate the rectangle and the merge over here and do the same thing with these two as well. So I'm going to start with this. Um, I'm going to go to 60th frame. You can obviously choose any time that you want. So I'm going to go to the 60th frame, create a keyframe on center X and Y. Go to the very first frame and set this to negative 0 0.1. All right, so this will move your shape to the left side. So it'll animate like that. And I'm going to animate merge two, which is related to the shape. So I'm going to go to 60th frame, create a keyframe on center X and Y, go to the very first frame and just set this to negative 0 0.5, which will just basically move it all the way to the left like that. Let's disconnect these two. All right. And um, 
this is our merge tool over here and uh, let's do the same thing with these nodes over here so go to rect rectangle two and um, go to the 60th frame create a keyframe on center x and y go to the very first frame and set this to negative 0 0.1 Alright, so then go to merge 3, select it, go to the 60th frame, create a keyframe, center X and Y, go to the very first frame and uh, with the on-screen controls, I can just grab it and move it somewhere over here. Okay, so if we take a look at this merge, we won't be able to see anything and that's because we need to connect this merge, the merge 1 with merge 3, like that. And now you'll be able to see your image inside so this is what we have done so far and also on this merge 2 i'm going to set the operator to n merge 3 set the operator to n so we'll have these two shapes coming in like that and do the same thing with the final one as well so let's connect the merge 1 to merge 4 like that and let's go to 60th frame on this final rectangle no node i'm just going to create a keyframe there move to the very first frame set this to negative 0 0.1 and on the merge 4 go to 60th frame create a keyframe on center x and y go to the very first frame and just move it somewhere over here all right cool um so now to see all these three shapes together we have to take a merge node drag it below and uh, connect these two connect the merge 2 with merge 5 and merge 3 with merge 5 and then finally merge 4 with merge 5 this will result in merge 6 so let's just drag and drop it and this is what we have created so far make sure the merge 4 is also set to n um so yeah so this is our overall animation now i'm going to select uh the uh, splines now i'm going to convert the key now i'm going to make this animation much smoother so i'm going to select all the keyframes here and go to spline make sure you click on this three dot menu and click on show only selected tools i'm going to start with the displacement and uh, click on the zoom to fit icon uh, click on this icon that says select all hit s on the keyboard hit t on the keyboard and just select the last keyframe over here and ease it in and just repeat the process zoom it and select all hit s and then ease it in Okay, so after you ease all these keyframes, then you can just exit out of the spline. And now if you take a look at your animation, it's going to look something like this. Okay, now let's create a background. Uh, so I'm going to drag in the background node. Let's view this. And on this background node, I'm going to add in a transform node to this. So select this transform tool and um, change the pivot. So I'm going to set it on the left edge over here so which is going to be zero so i'm going to set pivot x to zero uncheck use size and aspect and i'm going to create a keyframe on 60th frame on x size go to the very first frame and set this to zero so it's going to grow grow from zero to one but we want it to be only up to 0 0.4 or 5 let's see um and we can just connect this up together so if we take a look at this this is how it is going to look but we need to change the spline as well so go to spline select the x size select the keyframes hit t to bring the ease in and ease out and just ease it in exit our spline and now take a look at your animation that is looking pretty good so you can zoom in and just make sure that there are no gaps in between I kind of see the small gap over here so i'm going to go to 60th frame on transform 2 i'm just going to increase this to 0 0.41 like that so it just covers it up 
and also make sure that it is coming in as a background to this merge 7 so i'm going to select merge 7 and control t so it's under the image over here okay so on this background i'm going to change it to a different color you can pick any color that you want or you can let's go with a gradient like i did in my example so let's select this one and let's choose a gradient like this and this one let's make it a bit brighter all right so something like that and you can just play with the offset and all that stuff okay that looks good and you can add some text now so drag in the text tool um, view it and um, just type in anything that you want I'm going to type in my name and um, let's connect these up together we have the merge 8 and select the text and just place it anywhere that you want you can also add a gradient to this if you want in the style you can do that but I'm going to keep it to solid um, you can add many effects to this so for example you can add follower which is what I did in my example so we can start with the, go to modifiers tab over here uh, set the delay to 1 and go to shading and create a keyframe on opacity so let's start at 30th frame create a keyframe there and uh, let's go to 45 and set this to 100 right so we'll have something like this and you can also change the position so add a keyframe on offset x this will add a path we don't want that let's go back to follower and uh, in position again we can set this to 30th start with 30 let's create a keyframe here on offset and move it up a little like that and just move forward and it will be it will be back to zero all right so if you want more offset you can just increase that to whatever value you want all right so let's um increase the delay amount and you can do left right or random but one by one which is what i did something like that and then you can go to the spline of the displacement um, just the displacement we don't want to change anything else and just ease it in like that so it will look much smoother and more professional all right so then you can repeat this process with uh, another text layer so i can just copy and paste it over here and just link it up and change it to something else so I can type in a longer text here like a paragraph or something right so that's pretty much it then you can go back and um, you can then just overlap these two to create a nice uh, transition between two slides um, yeah so the possibilities are really endless with this so you can just create uh, your own out animation in first slide and in animation in the second one uh, it will look it will make your animations much better so so that's just about it and also make sure you connect it with the media out yeah so that's just about it guys i hope this video was helpful if you did find this helpful then make sure you like the video and also subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one